Uh, the Robot as a Microservice is a POC that I was recently working on in my free time. It shows that you can reuse a robot on the cloud without the need of virtual machine infrastructure or even regular RPA tools. The robot that I have created solves Acme Process 5 exercise that is part of UAPAD's advanced training and you can try it yourself, which I will show you in a second. So first let me give a short introduction to what is the Proc Acme Process 5. Uh, like I said, it's part of the UiPath's advanced training and uh, the robot should automate the system by accessing it and then looking for work items number five on this list, just like for example this one, entering, accessing the, the details and uh, creating out of this detailed information a hash code that later on will be updated here in the uh, in the case right so relatively simple process but i can assure you that if you are at the beginning of your rpa journey that can be a real struggle so the process uh the robot that i have created uh, you can find on my website uh, future of work blog dot web dot app. Here you can find it under the RP Cloud Solutions, and you just need to enter your credentials and start using it. This is just, of course, the front user interface for my robot. So let's first obtain the information from the system. So now in the background, the robot accessing the system logs in into it uh, and try to find work items from the list. It takes about one minute to obtain the information. As you can see, we obtain it and by pressing the link, we can make sure that it's existing in the system and everything has been obtained correctly. Right, so this is actually, yeah, the, the one that we have on our list. So everything was obtained correctly and now we can process it. In case you would not have any data or everything will be completed, you can use the restart data for Acme Process 5 button. It will just enter, log in the system and it will restart the data uh, and you will obtain new batch of cases to, uh, to process. So the same is in case of obtaining the information now, the robot in the cloud is basically accessing and processing all of the cases one by one. I have also video showing it how it works in like debug mode. Um, so you can see the whole process on the screen. Here everything runs in the background on the cloud so we cannot see it. And about after two minutes we'll be able to find that all item has been processed. Okay, so request has been completed. Everything is actually done and come. Uh, so we can press on the link. And you can, as you can see here, the hash code is uh, in the details of each case. I can ju just, just check another one. Maybe something from the middle of the list. Yeah, it's marked completed. So it's actually the robot done the work, right? It's not just, you know, was using any sort of API or anything. It was actually doing the work, the task, was performing the task on real life system. As you can see, it hashed this information and entered it into the details. So exactly uh, the same as if you would regular RPA tools, just this one uh, doesn't require any infrastructure, doesn't require any installation, just need to uh, use uh, cloud uh, features, I, I would say, in order to make it. So there are some clear benefits of uh, such cl solutions on cloud. Uh, it's always pay as you go, as everything on cloud. And uh, so that if it does, if your solution doesn't work, uh, you will not have to pay it, right? And even if the, if the process requires the robot to run 24 by 7, still the cost will be estimately the same cost as a as cost of virtual machine, $130, something like that. And because there is actually no virtual machine, 
you can scale scale it as much as you want right so in, in very short period of time if you have spike in your work you can have um, thousands of robots instead of hundreds right for example and the whole solution is easy to access uh, because in our case in my case here it is it uh, this, this front user interface retrieves back a JSON file but also it can be directly can retrieve an HTML code so we can see for example visualize data or some report instantly and you can access this report um, from your mobile phone right there is no restriction absolutely to that and uh, so that I think it provides some reasonable benefits uh, but it has also some limitations as it is solution on cloud it will be not be able to access files on your desktop right everything needs to be published on the web to so the robot can access actually data from that uh, from these files and of course it also will be not able to automate desktop applications just it's not meant for that it can only automate automate web applications uh, but no worries you will be able to use for example excel files because there is a web version of excel or outlook you'll be able to uh, send emails because there is a web version of uh, outlook as well right uh, sorry excel and outlook to use of that um, it is a limitation, but it's more, some may consider it just a feature, right? It's just new rules of uh, how we play with uh, RPA. Also on the website, you can find RPA Challenge Resolver that allows you with just one click to resolve the uh, RPA Challenge and what you will retrieve back here after the pressing the request uh, button is actually email with a confirmation. Right, I was, I think, showing it to some people some time ago, and basically, uh, that's the the idea that stands behind the robot on a cloud robot as a microservice. So let me know what do you think about it. Let me know if you'd like. Of course, you can try it. Just enter my web page. Here you can find the solution. Enter credentials. Off you go. You can test it with your live Acme system or it definitely it works very fast right as i remember uh, doing this exercise with any other rpa tool it was taking taking up to five ten minutes here it is below two minutes so i think it's relatively fast and i think something interesting for us to consider in the future okay uh, oh and by the way i'm also working on rpa challenge 2021 uh, it's a new version, it's currently in test, so if you want to test it, just you can also give it a try, see how it works. It's So far it's working quite well, so we can test different level versions, uh, different levels of um, difficulty, and let me know what is your result. So, thank you for today, I hope you liked the video and the idea of a robot as a microservice. Let's stay in touch.